Ten plaintiffs are suing the Kingston polygamous sect. The lawsuit accuses the group's top leaders of coercing girls into marriages, facilitating sexual abuse, and withholding wages. Fox 13 News investigative reporter Nate Carlisle explains. The lawsuit was filed Wednesday in state court in Salt Lake City. Through 109 pages, the eight women, one man, and one minor who are plaintiffs describe how the Kingston group teaches obedience to the top men and accuses them of grooming girls for teenage marriage, often in ways that violate the law. In one example, a plaintiff said she was 16 years old when in 2019 she secretly married her adult cousin. The lawsuit says the group's leader, Paul Eldon Kingston, gave a speech at the ceremony. The plaintiff goes on to describe being raped by her husband slash cousin. The Kingston group is also known as the Order. The plaintiffs describe being assigned to work at Order businesses. Their paychecks would be deposited directly into a sect bank. When the plaintiffs left the Order, they allege, the bank refused to give them their money. We talked to two former members of the Kingston group. They are not plaintiffs, but are familiar with the sex workings. This is from when I was 13 years old, March 2003, showing that I was working 178 hours in a two-week time period. Could have potentially been a month, but I believe there were two weeks and getting paid $920. Yeah, they, they're raised to listen to their parents. They're raised to um, obey the law one above another. And so when their parents says, this is who you should, you should marry, or figure out who you want to marry in the order, and those are their options, then yeah, it's coercion. A lot of people would say, why don't these girls just get up and go? And a lot of them do, as you've had a whole show oh, about Why that. don't you but, choose to go to hell? <laughs> so it's not just you know running out of your house, it's that you're right. also making a decision about An the afterlife. An eternal decision. You're not just choosing like, hey, I, I'm gonna go and work over here. I'm gonna live across the street. It's no, I'm going to hell and I'm giving up my salvation. I'm giving up my, my inheritance rights to heaven. The plaintiffs make the argument that the unlawful marriages and withholding of wages amount to human trafficking under Utah law. They're asking for actual and punitive damages they can prove at trial. In the studio, Nate Carlisle, Fox 13 News, Utah.